Salutations YouTube, it's I, Capricious, bringing you another episode of FDL, Fast and Light, Advanced Edition, with the Slug Cruiser. This is the second episode where I will play it sped up, and the speed up will commence now. Um, for any of you who didn't see the last episode, the reason why I'm playing at double speed is because I want to show you how I normally play when I'm not recording. Um, the reason I wanted to do this is because when I'm actually recording I don't feel as if I can show you guys how I actually play and how or how good I am or how You know how the methods I use, the way I play, and the different um, techniques I use to take down ships as quickly as possible, as well as keep my ship as strong as possible and as much intact as possible. I can't really do that on recording because I have to focus on commentary, which is somewhat distracting from natural gameplay. But not, you know, too much. It's not like a, not like a, bird, not like a huge burden. It's just like I can really focus and do a lot better in the game if I'm not doing commentary and not playing the game at the same time. Uh, by doing the commentary afterwards, I have to worry about doing the commentary during the gameplay, and I don't have to worry about making the game. And with this sped up, I don't have to worry about making the gameplay real entertaining. Like right now, I spend about a minute and a sh minute or two in the shop just comparing my stuff to the stuff that's in the shop. And this would take like this like two two minutes of time out of the video if it, it wasn't sped up. And you know now it's sped up I guess you do stuff like this and show you guys you know what to do, what to grab, what I'd grab, and stuff like that. And uh, I think it works out quite well. I think I show I, I can like talk to you guys through my normal playstyle whilst also referring to the video every now and again because I'm not really going to comment commentate much on actual gameplay. I'll point some stuff out every now and again but I'm not going to comment much on actual gameplay because if you know my previous series, this is that's what I've done and you know if you want to like see me do that I've got like eight of the FDL or twelve like twelve of the FDL series this is his that you can watch, or maybe like eight, I don't know. This is just like to show you guys how I normally play, and it's just you know, just give you a quick run through my normal play style. <clears throat> so, how do I play? What I like to do, my ideal weapon setup would be burst lasers and flak cannons. A ship that has four weapon slots, I would have two Burst Laser Mark IIs and two Flak Cannons. Two Mark I Flak Cannons. Flak Cannons. Um, a ship with three slots, I would have a Flak Cannon Mark II and either two Burst Lasers or a Burst Laser and a Flak Cannon. Because during this run through, I fell in love with the Flak Cannons. They are amazing. They they're just incredible. They do a huge amounts of damage. They can just tear through enemy shields. Not the most accurate, especially against ships like this, where you know I can really hit one or two rooms and not do that much damage to the systems of the ship. But still, it's great for taking down shields. And if you got a, if you got if there's like a two by two room, that ship's going down pretty fast. If you got a flat kind of mark two. Forget about it. Just forget about it. It'll go down. It'll go down really easily. You combine like a flak cannon mark two with things like a burst laser, and like what I've got now, dual laser and a chain laser. There's not a chance. You get good shields up. You get cloaking. You're you're, you're untouchable. And that's kind of like how I like to. That's kind. That's how I like to play. I like to be. I like to be able to destroy, or at least severely damage my opponent. With the first barrage I launch off. And when I do that, I 
I, I can just do anything. I can easily beat a flagship if I can just do that. But if I've got like, say, a couple of iron weapons and maybe like one heavy laser, that's, I can't do that. Because like, I have to chip away at the shields, and then as soon as the shields are down, I've got to blast the heavy laser before they come back up. And I just can't play like that. I'm like, I can't. It doesn't do enough damage fast enough. Some people would prefer it because they're able to play it more strategically and take out the important things first, and that makes your ship severely weaker so you can easily destroy it. I just prefer to, like, just do as much damage as possible in, like, just one attack so that they're weakened. So they're either weakened for the rest of the fight or destroyed. That's how I like to play. Uh, you can see now that I'm just like, you know, hammering into them, taking down their weapons, their shields, their engines, just just destroying them without taking any damage. That's perfect for me. Um, I haven't slept in about 29 hours. Because I couldn't sleep last night. I did actually record the commentary for this video. So this is another, this is another uh, automated, uh, automated ship, and that's not very good for my flat camera, but oh well. Um, I've I already recorded the uh, commentary for this video. Like, all oh, 29 minutes, or 30 minutes of it. 30 minutes of commentating. And I forgot to press the record button. I thought I did, but I didn't. And I did not remember I had to do it all again. So instead, I took a nap. Well, no, I didn't take a nap. I watched Captain America. I fell asleep for about 20 minutes. I watched Captain America Winter Soldier again. Um, fell asleep for about 15 20 minutes. Woke up because there's the scene with the car and gets attacked near the start if you know that part of the film um, <clears throat> and then I just like just messed around on YouTube for a while just watching videos and then I recorded the commentary again because I've got to get it done but before I did this I recorded two episodes of a new series I'm bringing out after this one it's a game that's Similar to FTL, and what I'm doing as I'm, what I'm, what I'm, doing I'm just commenting random things, how I like to play, a little bit of what's going on on the screen, and just some stuff I like to cover. Anyway, um, it's a game that's kind of like FTL in the sense that it's a strategy game, kind of turn, well, FTL is kind of turn based ish, but the game I'm the new series I got coming out is completely turn based, it's actually probably turn based. Um, me and Gold Foxy have got some ideas for a couple of series which we want to work on, but I want to finish this series, I want to finish this FTL series, and I want to finish. Um, my Don't Starve with Willow, but. I don't really fancy doing that because, I mean, come on, I'm not, I'm, I'm not the best in that game. I've got a lot better, but you know, it's been about four months since I last recorded it, but I don't really fancy playing that game or recording that game because it, it gets quite dull just going back and forth, collecting like grass and grass and sticks and logs to build fires and get food. I'm going to die in the winter anyway, so that's going to suck. But, the ship that I play with, I go for nebulas with it, because this ship is good for them, because it's, I think it starts off with a long range scanner, but anyway, if you have a long range scanner, go for nebulas, always, because you'll be able to see, so you see like, achievement unlocked, home sweet home, that's... 30, I think. 30 nebula, 30 nebula jumps before sector 8 or 6 or something. Because 
with the long-range scanners, you can go for nebulas, and they're good because it slows the rebels down, and you can see there's an ion storm which will mess you up. Because ion storms are the worst thing for me in this game. Because I need all my power, to power all my weapons, so that I can decimate the ship. But I also need all my shields, so that I can, so that I can take the hits while my weapons are charging. So my shields protect me when my weapons are charged. I unleash a powerful barrage, disabling now at least their weapons and hopefully their shields, like it did there. I launched a massive barrage, took out their doors, their piloting, their weapons, and now I've destroyed them. That's how I like to play. Take a few hits, you know, the lower my shields might hit me once or twice, damage my hull a little bit, but then I will launch a massive barrage and destroy them. That's how I like to play. So if you like using this as like Another thing I've noticed about this game, you can't really use videos on it as a walkthrough because it's mainly based on luck. I mean, there's certain things you can remember about events and which weapons you prefer to play with, but you might not find any of that. You might just, you know, get giant alien spiders after giant alien spiders and have a 50-50% chance of losing your crew. Nah, I'm not down I'm not with that. But anyway, this new series that I've got coming out after this there's this episode of F the FTL Slow Speed Up Cruiser thing, and then there's the next episode, which is the final episode, I believe. Because I've already rec I did this all in one sitting, as I explained in the last episode. I uh, did this all in one sitting, so I know whether I win or lose at the end. Uh, and as you can see, I'm already near the end, so next video would be the last video of this playthrough, whether I win or lose. Well, obviously, we're not, whether I win or lose will be the end of it, but anyway. The new series, I hope you'll enjoy it. My PC isn't quite fast enough to run it well. I have to turn all the graphics down to low, and the frame rate's still a bit terrible. But, it's a good game. It's a game that I have on the... I love it. I love this game. I've put, like, hundreds of hours, maybe a hundred and twenty hours, into it on the Xbox, and about... nowhere near that much on PC, but anyway. I have it on the Xbox and PC, but on Steam. Um, brilliant game, I love it so much. Um, I hope you'll all enjoy it when I uh, put it up. Uh, I don't know when. Uh, I don't know when this video is coming out. This video will hopefully come out today, it's the 17th of August. Um, yeah, I don't I've got to record the commentary for the next episode of this series, so I don't know when that's going to get released. And I want to re I want to release the uh, new series very soon because I don't want to I want to keep recording it because I love that game and I don't want to stop playing it. I want to keep recording it, but I don't want to like get too far ahead of myself. So I've recorded two episodes. They're ready to go. No, they're not. I'm just editing. But they're almost kind of ready to go. And I might recall another one, maybe another two. So it'll be about a week so I can start uploading them unless I upload this video today, as soon as I've finished commentating. And then I don't want to do the commentary on the next video immediately after this because I'm, because I'm tired. I'm like, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm like tired and drained. Uh, yeah. You can see him using Combat Drone. I'm not a big fan of the drones, I don't like him. Um, Combat Drone Mark II seems to be doing his job pretty well. You know, picking away at shield, it's not really my style. But it's a good conversation because I've just lost the burst laser. So the Artemis. The Artemis missiles, as I explained in the last one, are the bane of my life in this game. I hate them. They charge really fast, they penetrate my shields, they damage my systems. They make me weak. If they hit my weapons, I'm just screwed because I've got to repair them so I can launch my powerful barrage of death. Just, I hate the items so much. I really do. Any other weapon, I, I'm fine with. But if I see an Artemis, I'm like, oh, I know that I've got to deal with that and I don't want to deal with that. Anyway, I tear up in the ship. I am just destroyed. 
Unturned. Completely off topic. Unturned is another series I would like to return to. Me and Gold Foxy managed to get on a server together. We were playing, not recording. Then we kind of like. We, I played it a lot, like. I played like 50, maybe almost 100 hours. I built a big base, it's like five stories high, and it's massive. You know, it makes a frame rate drop just looking at it. Um, I stayed up like three nights, like almost in a row, trying to build it. And then um, I just lost interest in the game somewhat because it's a brilliant game. I'm just like, Commenting on how good another game is when I'm playing a game that's quite frankly brilliant. But anyway, that's how I roll. I can just talk about whatever I want because I don't have to worry about the gameplay much because it's been a stall and just saying buy this and sell this. Anyway, uh, Unturned, brilliant game. Can't wait for the update. The only downside is to go to 3.0, I'm I think I am going to lose my save. Which means losing all my gear, which I've spent about 20 hours collecting, and my base, which I've also spent about maybe 20 hours building. Now, probably spent about six hours building the base actually, and about 10 hours gathering all my supplies, so I'm not a liar. But it's gonna suck when I lose that save. I've got so much work into that game. But that's what happens, and it's gonna be good because eventually a bigger map is going to be added. I can't wait for that because the map that's on there at the moment is PEI Prince Edward Island or something like that. It's it's a good map, but I've I've done it. I've done everything on the island, and it's it's not that fun. It's not that fun anymore. I can like if I'm on there with my mates, I can you know have a laugh. It's some fun. But when it, mainly it's just me on my own, and it gets it gets it gets boring, kind of. That kind of sucks, but you know, what you can do. Um, I'm gonna say what the new series is gonna be after this one. But I don't want I want it to be a surprise because hopefully some of you will really enjoy it because I really enjoy that game and I've watched a few people play through it before and I enjoy watching people play through it. Brilliant game. Can't wait to play more of it. Really want to record that. I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to avoid another episode later. I need to get the third episode of this series uploaded so that I can start uploading uh, that series. And you probably know what you you might be able to guess what it is from the vague description I gave you. You see right now on the screen. Sorry, sorry, I got distracted, but. On the screen, I just like launched a massive barrage, pierced through their three shields, and then just started destroying their systems with laser after laser after laser after laser. The shields are weakened, the weapons are almost down. So look at that. Look at that. It makes me feel so good when I like launch like 20 lasers at the enemy ship. It just feels so good. Just to have them like, just to watch their health like. Um. Do I get to the last sector in this episode? I can't remember. I think I get. I think I get to sector eight in the in this episode. So yeah, the next episode will be the last. So, do you guys like this format? Do you guys want me to keep doing videos like this? Maybe not just with FTL. Maybe like games like I don't know, Peggle. Maybe um, Hearthstone. Maybe. Draws some Hearthstone. I'm not very good at it, but I can play it. Um, just, just, what other games can I play? I'm thinking of doing a um, prop hunt series for like the longest time, but we tried it. We, caught, we recorded a couple of episodes, but it wasn't really that good. It was like, it was me, Gold Fox, and Reznov. And it wasn't the best, but... 
I'm going to be trying again hopefully soon and maybe then I'll be able to actually record it because Problem is a fun game and I always enjoy watching people play it because it's a fun game it's really funny to watch. Have you got good enough commentary? It's, it's really enjoyable to watch. It's just funny all around. I'm, I'm, I, I like that. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. Yawned. Mm. Ooh, yeah. Um, what just happened is that on screen is that I lost an NG to a virus thing. You always want to go with that because. When the engine dies and you beat the ship, you'll get a crew member called Virus, and he has fully like upgraded, fully maxed out skills in everything, like engine, shield, piloting, weapons, everything. Because I don't know, that's just how he rolls. Pairing, fighting. So I don't know if it happens every time, it's guaranteed, but it's happened to me like three times, and every time I've got the virus engine crew member afterwards. So I, I, I can't really lose with it. Uh, you see now, enemies are starting to get quite harder with like three shields, but like if you have like an ion weapon, and you, if you were relying on like drones and ion weapons to like get rid of the shields, you can start doing damage to them. You see, a drone, a combat drone Mark II, is only taking down one shield at a time. Which is like the same as a combat drone mark one could do, so um having having this much firepower and able to like throw that much damage towards the ship and just destroy them like just like that. Two basically two attacks, two barrages and a dead. They have three shields, high health, strong weapons, two barrages, and a down. That's how I like to play. That is my first. I love playing like that. And it's just big fun. Like, two burst laser mark twos, two flat cannon mark ones, two flat cannons both mark one. Basically, a better way of saying that. And a weapons pre igniter. The perfect combination. I would just... Before they even got a shot off, they would be dead. I would use the flat cannon to destroy their shields, and the laser to accurately terminate their systems, so that they would be able to hurt me. Cloaking also helps. I normally always get cloaking because it gives me that like, moment of invulnerability. Um, and I need it to charge up my weapons before I launch my barrage so I don't take too much hits because like 12 seconds to wait to charge up my weapons I think that's like roughly my average it's a, it's a long time and yeah like, I take some damage in that time and I don't really like that but a Zoltan crew member Zoltan crew members are like, I normally like to have one at least at the end of the by the end of each playthrough. That way I have an extra power, basically. And I need the extra power because I don't have enough power to power like full weapon system, full shields, at least two in engines, oxygen, three in cloaking, preferably two in mind control, but not necessary, and preferably two in hacking. I just don't have power for that, so I need one or two Zoltan crew members to take some strain off the rest of my reactors. And then maybe on power, maybe power down the med bay, so I can power the rest of my system. So I've got an efficient ship, a nice, plenty of strong weapons, a nice little shield going, um, cloaking, keeping nice and hidden, nice and safe, and then just destroy them, just lay into them, just shot after shot after shot. It works really well. So again. Do you guys like this format? Do you guys like me not commenting whilst playing through the game? Do you like me maybe talking over the gameplay footage? Or do you like the sped up thing? Because I love to do my new videos, like the recent like, maybe, like, maybe 10 videos. I've tried new editing things, like I think it was Unturned Part. I think 
my rewound footage. So I went backwards because there was a whole thing with the um, canteen. That's just like a new editing thing that I wanted to try. You know, it took a took a while. I was going to give up, but then I found a way to make it work, and you know, it's just it's, it's good. That's like a new editing tool that I've now got that I can use to make my future video videos better. And experimenting with videos like that is how I do that. And this is this series is, I guess, an experiment. I want to. I want to try and experiment with different ways to create videos, like, you know, me being silent during the game and then talking afterwards so that you can, you know, you can just focus either on the gameplay or just commentary. I don't know why you're just doing just commentary, I guess. I don't really, like, talk about the game much, but I have talked a bunch, I don't know, something like that. Um, oh, I thought someone just, someone just stepped on something shot. Oh, I pressed my foot on something shot. Um, I've got a lot of movies that I need to watch. I need to watch Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy was a funny film. It wasn't like, it wasn't like the most... I didn't really like the action too much in it, because it wasn't really that well, really that much, it wasn't that entertaining. Well, the action wasn't that entertaining, but... <clears throat> the action wasn't that entertaining, but the film was... But I, I, I didn't really enjoy the film. I don't know where that came from. I don't know why I'm driving around the galaxy. I'm trying. I just like way out things to talk about. I mean, I was trying. I wanted to try and come into. Uh, I wanted to try and um, talk more about the video or about the gameplay that's going on. But you can see for yourselves. You don't need me for that. I mean, I'm fighting a mantis crew, so there's intruders aboard. I'm in a nebula. I'm in kick on wrecking shop. What more do you want? I mean. I mean, if you guys have like seen my previous series this, 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 on this, you'll know that sorry, my phone's coming up with a Let me hear that. Um, you guys have seen my previous series this, 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 of FTL, and you know, you know what I'm all about. You know our role. So yeah. Do you guys got any series, any games you want me to play? I mean, I've got the new series coming up. I want to do some prop hunt. Uh, me and well, Gold Foxy had an idea with me, Reznov, and my with my neighbours for a Minecraft series. Another Minecraft series. I want to do uh, Dragon Box C again because there's been a lot of new things that have been added in that game. Love that mod, but I want to wait till they release the next big update before I do that. But I'm kind of running out of time. But I would like to release at least like another at, at least a mod spotlight. Just introduce all the new things there are. Because I tried to make another uh, DVC series before, but it didn't really work out. I just ended up like deleting it. It sucked, but you know it wasn't that good. You see like that? Sorry, like a stretch. You see the uh, automated ship try to run away. Just look at its engines, because I can do that, because I've got like, a massive barrage of lasers. Just look at that. I launched like 12 lasers into it, and it just. It's just so good. But yeah, um, what was I talking about? I don't know. Minecraft, DBC, that's it. Um, there's Minecraft Hearthstone. I might want to play some Hearthstone soon. More Unturned would be nice. Terraria, I want to play some Terraria. Uh, I was going to do a, a playthrough of Half-Life 2, but I don't really need to do that. I um, can't really think of anything else. But, anyway, I'm going to end it here. It's been a pretty long video. I hope you're awesome. If you did, you're awesome. Stay tuned this series. If you haven't already, why don't you watch previous videos? Previous videos, out of the captain. You've been a wonderful audience. I salute you. I'll see you next episode. Goodbye.